I'm working on another one of these basic PCB exercises, uh, basic principles. So this one happens to be on RC circuits. And you know, that, that video will probably come up later down the road sometime or the board will come out. But what I wanted to show you here was something that I think you might find handy as you're arranging all the different footprints on your PCB. So you look at this, you've got this you know, array of LEDs right here. Forget about all the jumbled together words that would get cleaned up later. And I want to try to get these aligned kind of like these ones are right here or, or something close to that. So you grab this and you hit move and you start moving it around and you're trying to get it really close and you know maybe you can get it to snap to line up but for some reason sometimes the place that you placed it or maybe the grid setting that it was when you placed it I, I don't know but they don't quite line up so you see no matter what I do here I'm bouncing around and I can't get it to line up there so then classically what you might do is you come up here and you just keep de-incrementing your grid until you get it to the right kind of close enough point to where it looks like it's lining up. Now, when you make your footprint, there's going to be an anchor point in it. And typically that anchor point is right smack in the center. So if you uh, look at that somewhere in the midst of one of the videos I did, you way back there somewhere, it, it talks about it. Maybe I'll do just a kind of bullet point of video just on that. But when you make your footprint and you place that anchor point right there, this is what this thing is going to use as its positioning. So here's what I'm talking about. You right click on this, this component here and if you go to position relative to, control R, this window is going to pop up and it's going to ask you, let's get rid of this, it defaults to not using polar coordinates, I'll show you that in a sec. So you say, okay, well here is where this is uh, currently, but if you look down here, see where I'm, where I'm at? Absolute positioning, this is 171.2 by um, 64. Okay, keep that in mind right there. You select your anchor position, and then I pick this over here. But right now, you see that it says 162.5 by 56. That's there from the previous thing that I chose, okay? So it has nothing to do with this thing currently. But if I come over here and I pick, watch if I, if I pick out here, nothing happens. Nothing happens, nothing happens. Nothing in this window is changing. I come over here and I pick, did you see that? As soon as I pick this component, it says 159.5 by 56. Now, if you look down at my, where I just was, where it's the absolute XY, um, I can't move my mouse because I want to keep it right where it's at. But if you look down there, it says 159.2 by 54.8. That's not the number that it shows over an anchor, anchor position X. Now, if I come down here roughly, now see, I can't snap right smack in the middle. But if I get closer down here, you see how now I'm at 159.4 and 0.6. I'm moving back and forth a little bit there. And it's at 55.8, but I'm not, there we go. Now I'm at 56. Do you see what's happening here? This value here is the anchor point for this component. And even though I can't exactly get snapped right on it, so you can't see it down here, it knows it. So then what I can then do is I can hit reset on all of this here. And now I can type in a value. And if you look at, you know, this right here is the X and this is your Y direction. I'm going to say move it over. How about uh, seven from the anchor point of here? So it's going to take the anchor point of this and the anchor point of that, line them up on the 56 or right in the middle, and it's going to move it over seven away. So I hit OK. Give it a second. Oh, what the hell? Uh, so this is interesting. It, it appears like it held information from the polar coordinates. That wasn't expected at all. Let's, let's undo that and, and let's go investigate. So go here to position relative to, use polar coordinates. Oh, God, it was right in front of my face. So you see it had the item rotation on here. So we'll get...
Yikes. So we'll get rid of that and everything is all hunky-dory. So I didn't notice that, but that was left over from previously when I was doing a polar coordinate move. So again, it will be centered zero away on the Z from center to center and then seven away from it on the X. Now I hit OK. There you go. Okay, so that's kind of the idea of what I want to want to show you. So I'm going to undo it so you know that it's crooked. I want to position it relative to that one. So I highlight here. By the way, I this is just a habit I do. I highlight this backwards like this because any partial select will get the whole thing as opposed to this way you got to highlight the whole thing. Ever since uh, 5 came out, when you hover over things and you try to get it, if you don't quite get it right on the money, you know, and you go to move, then you're moving the letter or something. So it's just a habit to backwards select there. So I do that, and then I go right-click uh, position relative to, make sure everything's cleared out. I'm going to pick this item anywhere on here. You know, you can snap to that point there, but it's not going to snap to that point. You just got to let it know that I want that element and watch here for it to change and maybe give it a little bit of a check to know that it probably is right in the center. Then I'm going to say three away because I think I've already determined that that's a pretty good value there. Hit OK and now they're right up against each other. Then I can come over here, do the same thing to this one, position relative two, I want to pick this one over here and three is already, all that stuff is still in there, hit OK and now everything's all nice and lined up. So I think that is pretty handy. Uh, before I go, I want to show you the polar. So this is here. I want to line it up with that one again. So I choose, I select, I go up here, hit this, say use polar coordinates. Now, if, if you don't understand polar coordinates, it's pretty easy in a way to just think it's a pole. Just think you've got a pole, like right here where my mouse cursor is sitting here, there is a pole sticking straight up through the screen into your eyeball. So you're looking down on it, and then you put a, a string attached to it, you connect it to it, and you stick it out so far. So now you have a string at an angle, well, not an angle yet, but you got a string sticking out from that pole, and as you move it around, if it's a given distance, it'll just continue to go around and around and around that pole. And then if you're using, uh, you have an angle here, if they have an angle, they've got an obvious already pre-determined, you know, what, what you're going to base that angle off, which is probably, I think, horizontal. But at any rate, you type in this angle here, and now it will be so far out at such an angle. So I'm going to say that this is maybe five away from this item. So right in the center of this item here, it's going to be out five, but it's going to be at an angle of 45 degrees. Now this is not going to rotate the part like you saw happen a second ago. What it's going to do is it's just going to move this part here out so far and down so far. Let me do that. I'll hit OK and it's out so the center is out and down. So if you were to draw a line from here it's what I was describing. This is the pole and this is out and this is now down 45 degrees from it. If I undo that and I come back here and say position relative to pick that thing again and everything's still there, 45, this, and item rotation of 45. Now when I hit it, it's going to be out, down, and this item will rotate at 45. Actually, I think it goes the other way. Yeah, so it ends up like that. Now that could be cool. You know, I don't really use angled parts much, but maybe that's, that's handy for you, okay? So I will go ahead and set this back to where I want, get rid of polar, and uh, pick this. And if you end up with this stuff here, you just reset, 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 and then say three, hit it, and we're all good to go.